It is a hot button issue that got hotter after the election. That's because voters in three states, California, Arizona, and Florida, they approved ballot initiatives that prevent same sex marriage. Now, right now, only Massachusetts and Connecticut allow it. Several other states allow civil unions. Our guests tonight are passionately outspoken on both sides of this issue. Maggie Gallagher is president of the National Organization for Marriage. She is a strong supporter of the ban on same sex marriage. And Michael Angel. Angelo Signorelli is a gay writer and talk show host who's been a longtime champion of same-sex marriage. Thanks to both of you uh, for joining us. Okay, Maggie, why oppose uh, anyone getting married, whether well, it's two I, men or I, two what, women or a man and a woman? What, what I uphold is the right of the people of California and the other states to protect the definition of marriage as a union of husband and wife. Listen, people have a right to marry. They don't have a right to decide to redefine marriage for the entire state of, uh, of California or the entire country. Unions of husband and wife really are different. These are the only kind of unions that can make new life and connect those children in love to their own mother and father. And this is a really important social ideal to millions of Californians and to Americans who have exercised their civil right to peacefully organize, vote, and donate, and are now facing an extraordinary campaign Not every married of intimidation against them. But here in California, it's very serious. Not every married couple, though, procreates. Every unions of husband and wife have this capacity, and every man and woman who marries can give every child that they have a mother and a father. No other union can do this. All right. And every man and woman who marries is not going to be producing fatherless children across multiple households. Let's so bring they in serve this ideal. Michael is being very respectful here, and I'm surprising because, you know, I hear him on the radio and I've seen him on other programs. <laughs> not that he is a respectful guy, but usually he is champing at the bit to, bit to get in. Okay, she says that uh, it is uh, something that is special between a man and a woman that they can procreate in a married relationship. Michael. Well, a a as you uh, pointed out, Don, uh, not only are there many heterosexual couples who do not procreate and uh, cannot procreate, but many gay and lesbian couples procreate. There are thousands and thousands of gay and lesbian couples across this country who uh, have children. Uh, many of them uh, had them naturally. Many of these women, certainly lesbians, had them naturally. Many of them have adopted children. Uh, every study has shown that they do great. Uh, the American Psychological Association, American Psychiatric Association, all talk about how there is absolutely no study that shows that uh, these children do any worse. Some studies even show lesbian parents uh, have children who do even better. So uh, we're talking about uh, an, an issue that doesn't really uh, wash here. Of course, children are in heterosexual families as well as uh, gay and lesbian families. Okay, here to both of you. Here's what's surprising to me that I heard from Maggie that I hadn't heard. And I want you to listen to this, Michael. She's saying that people who supported Prop 8 are being fired and they're being intimidated by these protesters. Maggie, is that so? Yes or no? Well, Yes, but okay. not, necess not necessarily by these protesters. What we're, what we're, li listen, what is happening is that the names and addresses and the employers of people who donated to Prop 8 are being put up on the internet. People are being told to go after their employer. They're required. Okay, Maggie, to hold that thought. I'm going to let Michael. Well, well, look, I've heard from people on my radio program who've been fired from their jobs because they voted against these ballot measures. We also had a ballot measure in Arizona as well, Proposition 102, that the voters passed banning marriage. I've had people whose bosses overheard them say that they voted for it and they got fired. But look, with Proposition 8 in California, it is the public record. If you put money down to take away people's rights, and this was a right that was already given, unlike in Arizona and elsewhere, this was a right that people enjoyed since June, that the California Supreme Court said the Constitution held for gays and lesbians. If you take away someone's right and your name is up there, it is public record. And you That's better put your money where your mouth is. You better be proud to sing it loud if That's that right. is In what words, you this believe. Is what, what you're hearing is that there is no shame about this at all. Michelangelo is endorsing this. There, are, There's no marriage advocates putting up there uh, the names and addresses of people who voted no. And Maggie, the saying, names and addresses up, are go, public go, go, records. Go, go, nobody up, has to put up them up. They are this. there. They are go public attack record. these people. Go, go take away their livelihood. Let's blacklist artists who disagree with you on they the gay marriage record. issue. They are public Look, it's this one thing, it's one thing it if one you, it's one thing right if you, now, it's one thing if you speak out. I don't think it should out. happen to you if you disagree with me. It's hey, Maggie, I have to say, though, I have to say that there are. To organize, to donate it, without threats and intimidation as a result of doing so. Uh, it's Maggie, one thing there are gay, lesbian, and trans 
transgender people who say the same thing that you're saying now, that they are being fired for their jobs just because of who they are. What it, is the well, difference? I would cer well, first of all, I would certainly repudiate that. The difference is that it's a tactic. I mean, it was the no on Prop 8 people who put up an ad going after the Mormons. And it's an ad we would never, if somebody Maggie, were holding up signs saying, the Jews, the Jews there have are donated too much money on this, their rights taken and therefore, away. Let's go and call, put a hold up signs in front of the attack their places of worship. There are 18,000 okay. couples that have, Can I get a word church. in here, please? Stand by. Maggie, let him, let, him, let him get a word in. Go ahead. Can I go get ahead, a word Mike. in here? Uh, yeah, 18,000. Maggie, over me, by can the way. I get a word in well, here? You are you going to allow me to talk? Yes. 18,000 couples had their rights taken away. Absolutely, stripped that of is them. wrong. Can I finish my point, please, well, Maggie? Been talking over 18,000 couples. Yeah, this have isn't doing anyone any good. You guys talking over each other. Hey, uh, Maggie and Michael, it's not doing any good, you guys talking over each other, but hang on. I, I'm going to stay with this a little bit longer. Maggie, let him make his point so he can get it out, Thank and then you. I'll give you uh, one as well. Thank you. 18,000 couples have had their rights taken away from them. They enjoyed these rights. They were given to them by the Constitution of California. Okay. The Supreme Court read that in the Constitution. Now, these people who voted against them decided to act and take away their rights. It's different from saying you're opposed to marriage. Okay, Michael, you now up. voted against people and took away their rights. Okay, Maggie, real quickly, I only the have a few the seconds. The Constitution of California gives people the right to organize, to vote, and donate, and we should do so each our side okay, without Maggie. this atmosphere of intimidation. Our